good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you hadn't already noticed, it is officially conquer season, or spooky season if you're that way inclined. Anyway, I really like conkers and I decided to Halloweenify them this year. I started off by heading to my local park, admiring the sights and local wildlife to collect some conkers. This didn't make the squirrels all too happy, not only was I taking their conkers before they could bury them, but I was also scaring them by trying to be their friend. Hello. Oh. Sorry. I filled my pockets to the brim and hauled myself home without a plan or a care in the world. Now, if you didn't already know, I did attempt to do this last year and it ended pretty badly. Let's do his arms close together. <gasps> But this year, Danny got me a Dremel for my birthday, so I'm going to attempt to make these little jack-o'-lanterns, or whatever you want to call them, out of these conkers, with limited tools and no experience whatsoever. Just how I like it. I really enjoyed scalping them and exposing their brains, although it was pretty difficult to be honest. And this gave me an idea to try and hollow them out like proper Halloween pumpkins. The first I hollowed out completely and the lid didn't fit back on afterwards. It also looked rubbish. But then I had the amazing idea to light them up! Everyone likes fairy lights, don't they? Do they? I don't think they actually do, do they? Anyway, I had some lying around for no reason whatsoever, so all I did was drill a hole in the top. And magically, the only drill bit that came with a Dremel was the exact right size to shove in these little holes. This did make an enormous mess, conquering sides all over the table, all over me, all over the camera, and it kept clogging up the bit as well so I kept having to stop and using the little baby spanner to get it all out every like two minutes, it was really annoying, but we managed without proper carving tools. I didn't buy anything especially for this, I only really used one bit that worked the best for all the faces, which is this one. The others didn't really get the corners too well. But again, I'm sure they'd be a lot better with the proper carving bits. Just a quick evaluation, this was actually quite difficult, although a lot safer than using a Swiss army knife. They won't last of course, which at first I thought was a bit disappointing, but then I remembered people carve pumpkins every year and they go mouldy on your doorstep.
Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Happy conquer season. Happy spooky season. Happy just just be happy. And hopefully see you in the next DIY project. <laughs>